Hey guys, Bobby Hughes here. With the sun once again. Yep, with Caleb again. Can't see anything because it's so bright. Can't see anything on the screen. Yeah. Yep, there's Caleb. Hi. So anyway, um, so uh, last video uh, we talked about doing um, some canoeing. canoeing. Yep, some canoeing um, out to our campsite uh, for to make it easier to get there so that we don't don't have to uh, walk through all that tall grass and stuff so update on the campsite and the tall grass so um, we got home and I'm thinking that we went through a tick nest um, whenever we were out cutting through all that grass so we didn't find any ticks on Caleb and I'm thinking probably because the well, he thinks because he wetted his hair, so maybe. Um, but I'm thinking because I had him up on my shoulders, uh, that kept him out of the brunt of it. And uh, in the woods, we weren't really, you know, uh, coming in contact with anything like trees or, um, you know, brush or anything like that really in the woods. All that was through that tall grass that we were cutting through. So, um, my diagnosis I guess is or whatever is uh, the fact that we cut through all that tall grass and since I did the majority of the cutting through the tall grass we think we picked up into a tick nest or something because I found like five uh, very small baby ticks on me um, throughout the course of the evening and so I'm thinking that that is probably the case so update I went on the search for a canoe and I went on the search on a search through Craigslist, let go, you know, trying to find a good deal on one, and then also trying to find one that maybe somebody would be willing to do some bartering with, um, and just because I like keeping it old school. Uh, and so I was willing to barter a couple of guns um, or something for the canoe. And come to find out, a friend of ours that not really super close friends it's more of a close friend of my brother um, that I just kind of know through him turns out he had a daggum canoe and a nifty little trailer to put it on and all kinds of stuff so and actually a pretty good canoe at that uh, it's one of the old town Saranac 14 foot 6 inches long um, says it's a three person canoe um, so I guess you could put somebody right there in the center on the, the little center console thing. He's got this like contraption on here, um, kind of homemade contraption for some outriggers, um, which would be super cool, uh, I guess, but I feel like it's kind of nerdy. So, um, I let, uh, I've actually got them. I've got them in the back of the truck here. Here they are, right here. Okay. So, uh, I've never been in a canoe before. <laughs> um, don't take away points on my man card. Um, I've done some kayaking and I've done some boating, just never on a canoe. So what we're here today, we're at the boat ramp. So this is the boat ramp. We're approximately a mile and a half to two miles away from back in that direction away from the trailhead that we started walking in on okay so the plan today the plan today to, to is get to, our campsite. to get me in the water uh, without Caleb I'm gonna leave him on the bank for a little while yeah. um, I'm gonna just come around here I'm gonna and be filming. this kind of low area over here and uh, I'm going to try to paddle around a little bit and see if I can get a good feel for balance. Uh, I've watched a few YouTube videos um, with some, some pro tips and stuff. And I'm not much of a book learner. I'm more of a hands-on learner. So, I'm wearing trunks and t-shirt. Of course, we're going to have flotation devices on. Um, but I'm going to get in the water and paddle around a little bit. See if I can get a feel for it, get a balance of it. And then uh, if I feel good about it, then I'm going to get Caleb in with me. And we are going to paddle around for a little while and just kind of have fun. So and, and try to get to find where we were doing camp siding and I was skipping rocks. 
Is that where we're headed? Yo. Yo, okay. So we're gonna try, if we get comfortable and feel good about it, then we are going to... Uh, and give us a thumbs up at the end of this video, please. Yeah, do what he says, give us a thumbs up at the end of the video, please. So anyway, we're gonna paddle around a little bit and see if we feel good about it, and if we do, then we're gonna try to see how long it takes us to get to our little campsite and see if we can find it, all right? All right, right now it's recording, okay? Okay. Now, when I get out, I'm gonna paddle over here. I need you to walk back up over there so you're out of the way, okay? Okay. Ah, all right, you hit the button, turned off, buddy. All right, so we paddled around for a little while, got a good feel for it. I even rocked the boat quite a bit, trying to get it to flip over. Uh, with normal normal flippage, you know, like normal rocking, um, or what I would expect from, from normal rocking, and uh, yeah, it was it did good. Um, it's got a nice wide base to it, so it seems like it it would be pretty tough to flip this canoe. Uh, it's got more of a flat bottom, so I think that probably has something to do with it. Just my non boating experience expertise but just been practicing paddling right back there is the uh the boat ramp where we've come from uh maybe i don't know probably uh i don't know 800 yards or so maybe and i'm pretty sure that this piece of land over here this peninsula over here I'm pretty sure right back in there is where our um, spot is, I think. So we're going to paddle around a little bit and see what we can find. But Hey guys, did I show you the boat ramp where Papa came from? If you, if you remember, subscribe. Oh. <laughs> and Caleb's all, all about making sure you subscribe and click the like button. But anyway. All right, so we're going to paddle around a little bit more and see what we can come up with. I don't know if that's our spot or not, buddy. I'll tell you what we'll do is we will get my phone out here in just a second Hope you don't drop it. and check the gps on it i didn't really do a good job looking at the terrain oh yeah we're almost there i can see can you yeah i i remember climbing that thing of going to get back up from where i was um from whenever i was skipping rock probably more than one cedar tree buddy that you yeah, it, it was close to there. Let's see. It was really, really close. Let's check my phone. Google Maps. Yeah, that's definitely... That's definitely where we need to go, right over there. You mean where I was talking about? Uh, sort of. Okay. So kind of behind. I can sort of see a bunch of, um, <sighs> a 
whatever it's called. Thing about it during the fall and early winter we won't have to combat with uh, the boaters out here that's for sure yeah as long as they don't let all the water out of it What I never, I never dreamed that paddling a canoe actually took a certain type of like, like I can't just get in here and flail. I don't know. I guess I just didn't think about it. I just always assumed that you can get in here and get in here and just put the paddle through the water kind of like I'm doing right now. And the boat would just go. I never really thought about steering and about, you know, if you always paddled like just like this, you just paddle yourself around in circles. See, I'm not good left-handed. I'm just turning the boat around in circles now. At least right-handed, I can kind of finesse it and keep it straight. I'm gonna have but I actually Moana. need to turn. I'm going to have Moana was real, really, really. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is it, buddy. Boom, we're on the beach. Can we get off? Hold on, let me get us. I'm trying to get us up on it just a little bit more. Alright, you go ahead and get off. Our little, our little beach place here. Yeah. This place. Yeah. Grab that rope and just pull the front of the canoe towards you. Just pull it. No, just hold on to that knot right there. See where that hook is? That knot and that hook. Pull it towards you. Pull it harder. Pull up and over. Pull hard. All right. Perfect. Now, just hold the rope. Hold the rope taut, okay? Alright guys, so we definitely, uh, made it. definitely made it. This is definitely the camp spot. So, uh, I call that a mission success. Um, I don't have my watch on right now. Uh, but I, if I had to guess, I would say from, with my, especially with my lack of paddling expertise and directional navigation of the canoe um i'd say maybe maybe 20 minutes 25 minutes uh it took to paddle from the boat ramp to here maybe maybe 25 minutes and that was kind of with me goofing off and stuff 
Uh, the hike out the other day when we hiked from here back to the truck, uh, it took about 45 minutes. So not a lot faster. I mean, close to yeah, two-thirds of the, the time um, that it would take. But I didn't have to cut through that tall grass. I didn't have to carry Caleb on my shoulders. Um, it's much more fun coming across the water. And too, with the boat, we can pack in way more gear. Today's not a good example because I didn't pack a bunch of gear. Um, but, I mean, that boat's got plenty of room in it. And it's, I mean, it's cap totally capable. I think it's like 750 pounds is the, uh, is the weight rating on it, so, or the max weight rating. So, I mean, in theory, see, I, you know, I'm 185, Caleb's 50. So, you know, we, heck, we could carry 300, 400 pounds of gear if we needed to, which, I mean, we don't need to, but... Um, I think that's a much better option than uh, hiking in. And it's way, like I said, it's way more fun. So I'm not going to truck up through here too much today because I have on shorts and tennis shoes. And I know for a fact there's a bunch of poison ivy and, and poison oak up in here. And I've already got a little patch on my wrist from the other day, so I don't want to get it all over me. Um, so I don't really want to, ah, heck, why not? I'll go home and take a shower. Um, I'm not going to roll around in it too much. So I'm thinking, here's my plan. Here's what I'm thinking. So going back and watching the video from the other day, uh, I'm thinking I want to make like a clean trail down to the down to the beach so really like right there uh, on this side of this tree right here just just clean clean up a neat little trail that goes right down to the beach and then up here as far as this goes there's that neat little embankment right there and so what I was thinking about doing was building more like a fort shelter and Forgive my camera skills right now. I'm trying to watch. I'm watching where I step because I don't want to step run into a big old plant of poison oak or something. Um, so what I'm thinking is right here where this big bank is. I wanted to put. I'm up here, buddy. Just hang tight. I know you're good. I want to put like a. I was gonna do like a wall. A built wall and then do like a ridge pole and then um, have the the top of the shelter kind of set on the ridge pole so what I'm thinking Is, is this so I'm gonna have the shelter the ridge pole go from that tree to this tree because these are both really solid trees I think this is a poplar and this appears to be maybe a maple tree and so or an oak even I can't the leaves are so far up I can't see and I'm not good with bark identification so um, a ridge pole across here that's a good, probably 10 foot right there. So ridge pole across here. And I don't even know if I'm in the, am I in the front? Yeah, I'm in the front. Ridge pole across here and then use that bank back there as like a wall. Maybe have to clean out some of this and build a partial wall that kind of comes at an angle right here, which would serve sort of as a side wall, which is pretty cool. And then have the, the top of the shelter go back and lay on the top of that bank and then also across the top of the uh, that wall right there. And then a lot of this, I think if I cleared this out, clean this up, a lot of this is just um, just brush and crap. I think it's it's actually probably pretty decently level here. Um, 
but to find an actual level spot out here would be dang near impossible. So I think that's probably a pretty good idea. That's kind of what I've got in my mind anyway. That may change. The problem that I'm seeing is that there's not very many small pole trees or dead, dead trees even or dead fall that I can cut for the top. So what I may end up doing there is I may end up just using a few and doing rafters and then end up doing some kind of canvas top and then just throwing a bunch of um, sticks and, and boughs and stuff like that on top of it to kind of camouflage it. But yeah, I'm thinking that. That's what I'm thinking. Alright, so then walking back down the trail. So our trail will go right down through here and we'll clear all this out. See all this stuff? We'll clear all of this out and make a neat little path that goes right down here to the beach. I just am where I am carving and skipping rocks. Huh. Watch, I can even carve this rock. Break it? Boom. <coughs> Excuse me. Then, huh. Then if you get it good enough for it to be completely flat. Oh, that skipped good. So anyway, and then we've got the shelter here of the cedar trees kind of blocking our beach entrance here. So that'll kind of disguise everything. You can't see it from up, from out on the water. You can't see up in here. And so it, like even during the winter, uh, obviously, the cedars will still be green, so that's cool. Bye. <clears throat> we got lost the camera, buddy. Oh, I got to get better at that. All right. We're going back, YouTube. I actually, you know what I need to do? I need to take this daggum light that he's got back here off. Why? I think it's pretty cool. Well, it's in the way. I can't jump over the back seat. You know, what? the other day when we were here, yeah, I stepped down on the beach with you. Actually, I didn't step down on the beach with you, yeah, but, but you can see the boat ramp from here. See it? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, we can just go straight, but yeah. not straight that way. Straight this way. Yes. Turn we can out go this back and here. swim. Cool little spot back in here. I kind of want to skirt the beach here a little bit. Me too. And see, just you know, take a peek and see if there's anything that looks any more better. It's so hard to see up in there, though, you know.
Uh, I guess somebody maybe died there. Or, or drowned here or something. I don't know. Oh, somebody else got some kayaks out here. All right, here we go. I'm going to pull right up on the gravel for you, okay, buddy? Okay. And then we can get out and do it, right? All right, you're good. Remember, grab the rope and hold it. All right, just hold on to it. Oh. Hey, how's swimming in the lake, buddy? Amazing. Yeah, mommy's gonna love this. Oh. <laughs> Aren't you getting in? Uh, I don't have a towel, buddy. I don't know if I'm gonna get in or not. You're fine. Yeah, you're gonna get in. I don't want to get my seat all wet in my truck because I got to go to work early in the morning. It's going to dry overnight. Can you still touch the bottom right there? Um, no, but I can touch the bottom over here. Right over First time swimming in the lake. Awesome. Well, Alright, so uh, that's about it for today. Uh, I'd say all in all is pretty successful. Um, got out into the lake, found our camp spot. Um, I've got to work on my paddling abilities and uh, steering paddling it's paddling but uh, steering with the paddle uh, totally totally uh, foreign to me so um, in a canoe so that's uh, something I've definitely got to work on uh, moving forward if you got any tips uh, leave them in the comment section below um, I'm not too good to uh, receive constructive criticism so if you saw something you know that just I was completely screwing up because I absolutely have no idea what I'm doing uh, when it comes to steering uh, with a paddle in a canoe but all in all it was a good trip I, I mean I enjoyed it uh, I think it was good getting Caleb out in the water in the canoe with me um, to see kind of his reaction and um, with it being his first time I mean my first time in a canoe um, but then he handled it like a pro um, sat there never got scared even in the you know the boats would go by and it would kind of wake the wake the canoe uh, it didn't seem like it bothered him at all so uh, good to go yeah so it just hanging out cooling off swimming a little bit uh, the canoe back on the trailer ready to go and uh, yeah so anyway Good day, good trip, had fun. Um, can't wait till the next video uh, where we load the kayak up with some gear and head back out to our campsite and start constructing our shelter and clearing some of that undergrowth and uh, getting us a trail beat down out there and, and all that good stuff. So I'm excited about that. Um, depending on weather and what my schedule looks like, we may try to do that this Thursday. So it's Sunday today may try to do it Thursday it's my day off um, we'll see how the weather holds up uh, it's supposed to cool off a little bit we've had like uh, heat index over a hundred with really super high humidity this week so it's been pretty miserable um, so we'll just see how it goes and uh, go from there thank you guys for tuning in and watching uh, it's good to be back um, doing something that I enjoy doing um, and so uh, I'm glad to have you guys riding along with uh, as we get back into some uh, some bushwhacking and you and bush yeah, he always corrects me bushcrafting and and uh, just you know being outside and, and camping, getting ready for fall and winter. I'm excited.
to uh, to be doing some videos this summer or this this fall and winter doing that so I'm pretty excited about that so until next time guys get out there shoot some guns be safe and most importantly have fun see you guys later what do you tell them dude see ya what else subscribe to the video and give us a thumbs up <laughs> see you guys